Hi there, and today I'm looking at two television news crew sets which I've bought from eBay. First up is set 6661, which was called Mobile TV Studio, and this is from 1989. It came with a whopping 78 pieces, and it cost me a minute £4 on eBay. So we're just going to have a look at the bits, and then we'll have a build. So most interesting piece in this is these uh, 1x4 panels. Um, these are printed with TV and they are in perfect condition for a set from 1989. Um, great that these were printed and not stickers. I've got another uh, blue van set from this era, um, which is a mobile um, a motorway maintenance set. And that had exactly the same panel, but with a big stick on it. So it's great that these are printed. It comes with a regular minifigure of the era with just a zipper across his jacket. So nothing special. Um, TV related about him and I believe yes just one other printed piece and number two on a yellow tile which came in a few sets um, I think the whole Hogwarts Express used these pieces as uh, carriage numbers but they're the only printed pieces so we're gonna give this set a little build and then have a look at it afterwards <music> So if you've watched some of my previous videos, you may know that I've got a certain fondness for the old uh, four stud wide vehicles. Um, and this is another great little uh, example of those. Um, like I said, it's from 1989, not many pieces in it. It does a, there's this really cool upside down uh, space screen. So normally they would be on regular slopes in um, classic space sets, but it's nice they've printed it on an inverted slope. So they've got their TV monitor in the back of the van that they can obviously watch their broadcast on. It's not a very big news crew, just the one guy. And for some reason, like I said, he's got camera two, not quite sure where camera one would be. Um, maybe it's another news crew um, out in the field somewhere else. Um, but this is a really good quality. Um, this has been looked after very well since um, 1989 when it was first new. Um, it's a good little set. The uh, clear pieces are very good condition, not scratched at all. Um, looking good. Yeah, nice little set. I'm glad I've managed to get it for such an incredibly low price of £4. Normally, a set of that price, you'd expect all the sort of printed parts to be scratched up and the parts to be in uh, fairly bad condition. But this is all looking really great. I especially love four-wide sets because they have these uh, cool little opening doors. Um, you may have seen uh, last year I built a four-wide um, Lego Coca-Cola truck. I'll put the link to that up here. Um, and that sort of uh, can go with my collection of four wide vehicles. Um, there's another four wide vehicle in the next set. So we're going to have a look at that one and see what that one's like. So the second TV crew set I've got is a 6553 and this was called Crisis News Crew and it's from 1997. It was from the very small um, Outback sub-theme. There was only ever five sets in this sub-theme and this was just one of those. It was the only news-based one and um, the other one were uh, random. There was an Outback Airfield and a few other sets like that. And this has got 133 pieces, so not a huge set. Um, and it's just cost me about £14 on eBay. So I'm hoping it's got a mixture of uh, stickered and printed parts in it. I'm hoping they're all going to be fairly good quality. So we're going to have a look at those pieces and see what it's like. So first of all, we have our two TV crew guys. They're exactly the same, same torso, same head, same baseball cap, same everything. Um, they're printed torsos and this was used in a couple of sets with the, this was what they used as their TV station logo. Um, so that's Good quality on both of these guys. He's, this guy's already got his camera in hand, so it has been taken completely apart from when I bought it. Uh, but they're looking good. The other minifigure is of his, obviously the presenter. She's got the same logo printed on her torso. And then she's got this microphone with this tiny one-by-one -one 
tile which is also a printed piece with the tv logo on it and this piece only comes in this set they printed it um, but it's only ever come in this set um, i just had a quick look on bricklink and there's only two of those tiles for sale in the whole of uh, the uk um not ex very expensive about 80p each but um just random that that only ever came in this one set this tiny little tile um thought they would have been able to use that in sort of other sets but there you go nice printed pieces uh, the front of it has a helicopter in it. That is another nice printed piece. Whereas the back, a uh, technique that Lego never do anymore. This is two pieces stacked on top of each other and a sticker grows across both of them. But again, good quality stickers, but um, you don't see that technique in Lego anymore. They like to be able, you to be able to take all the pieces apart um, once you've bought a Lego set and built it, so you can rebuild it. And also the two panels from the back of the TV truck, unlike the other TV truck in the previous set, these have got stickers. That one's not entirely square, but pretty good, not too bad. But it, um, again, for a set um, from 1997, um, they're looking pretty good quality. So we're gonna have a build of this set, and then we'll have a look at it afterwards. Just before I start the build, uh, the set comes with these two one by two panel pieces. Um, they came with the one by two plate stuck on the bottom. Obviously, that's how they go in the set, but the uh, previous owner hadn't completely taken the set apart. Um, unfortunately, I just tried to take one of them apart, and blue is a colour which does tend to get quite brittle over age, and that piece is unfortunately snapped. And me just trying to take the plate off the bottom of it. So I'm going to have to mend that somehow with a bit of tape across it or um, maybe glue if I have to, but that should go like that. But then unfortunately there's not enough clutch left for that piece to stay there without falling off. So I'll have to do something about that, but that's the only defect in the set. Like I said, everything else is looking pretty good. So we'll get on and do the build. So here's the completed set. Um, after that unfortunate event with the panel, I didn't want to uh, take apart any of the other parts that uh, the previous owner had kept together. And he kept together this, which is obviously meant to be a light for uh, lighting the uh, presenter when she's uh, doing her pieces to camera. And also here is the camera, an unusual build there. It's got a, a, a one by one plate with a hook and then this uh, plate with the bar coming down um, in so sitting in the clip there, which is quite a nice effect because then you can tilt the camera up and down. It also comes with obviously in those days you had film and a spare film, so when he finishes up his videotape, he can swap it over and use some more. Um, the minifigures, as we said earlier, this guy comes with a megaphone and he, I presume, gets to either drive the van or fly the helicopter, and then the other guy sits on the side of the helicopter quite precariously as they fly across. He's obviously uh, got good uh, insurance for his job as he's dangling outside the helicopter. And also while I was building, I did wonder why they had these panels placed um, sort of inverted. And it's because he has to sit on the side. So his arm has to go into that slight recess where that panel is. So the second one on this side, which is the broken one, I could actually spin around um, and keep the other way around because we don't need that to be recessed, um, only needs to be that way around for symmetrical reasons. It's got these two other, again, more lights to uh, light whatever they're filming, um, dangling down. There's this strange 
clip on an arm, which I'm not quite sure what that would be used for, but it's there nonetheless. Um, nice uh, idea on the propellers. Um, I have several helicopters from this era, and they just put a nice one by three across to keep the propellers in place. Um, nice extra, just one piece, um, makes the whole uh, sort of propeller system a lot more sturdy so they're not going to come off quite as easily. Um, like I said, loving this set. The TV logos are such good quality. I'm really pleased I've got such a nice version of this set. Neither of these sets came with the instructions so I was uh, busy on brickinstructions.com as I built through it with my laptop. Um, just clicking through and getting the instruction from there but I'm not too bothered about the instructions just that I've got such a good quality version of the set. Quickly comparing the two vans together, they both started with very similar building techniques. They had these combined uh, chassis plates, um, which they had back in this sort of era, and they were built uh, just along a regular plate. But you saw one of each facing each way on the uh, in grey on this van, and a similar build in white on this van. So very similar techniques, um, even though they were about eight years apart, um, and just also changing the pieces for the era. So this van has a hinge roof piece on the back and so does this one but one's solid and one's got the window piece in it and similarly on the roof uh, this one opens up this way and this one does the same thing if I can get it to come apart like that um, I do like these uh, pieces with the window on makes them just a little bit more interesting than the plain uh, solid roof pieces on this van but again both got a um, satellite uplink so they can send their news broadcast wherever it needs to go but very similar cool little tv trucks so if anything newsworthy ever happens in my lego city i think we've got it covered with multiple tv crews um, to cover the story of whatever's going on um let me know in the comments which one of these sets you prefer is it uh, based on the tv logo Do you prefer one or the other i think i'm airing towards this one uh, quite like the uh, tv it's quite reminiscent of a tv channel uh, we used to have in uh, the uk years ago when i was a kid um this one not so keen just because probably probably because it's a sticker rather than a printed piece but let me know in the comments which one you prefer um if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up and of course please do subscribe for more lego videos